Good luck. Merhaba arkadaşlar. Hepiniz IF Detox webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün Güney Kore'nin en iyi üniversitelerinden Kyunghee Üniversitesi'de eğitimi Jonga'dan dinliyor olacağız. Lütfen sorularınızı questions kısmından sormayı unutmayın. Yes Jonga, the stage is yours now. Thank you very much. Let me start the showing the presentation first. Okay. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jong Ayu. I'm an international admission manager for undergraduate program in Kyung University. Um, I'm here to share the international admission information with you guys. It's really nice to meet you online. Okay. Uh, let me show you the map of the Korea, Republic of Korea. Uh, Republic Korea is located in Northeast Asia in Kyung University. It's located in Seoul City, which is the capital city and the largest city in Korea. Uh, this is the map of the Korea and uh, you, you can see this first largest city, Korea, the Seoul and second largest city, city Busan and the, the Jeju Island, which is the very nice uh, Tour, tourist sites. Uh, Kyung University is established in 1949 and there are three campuses at Seoul, Yongin, and Gwangdong City. Uh, humanities, uh, social sciences, natural sciences, fine arts are focused in Seoul campus and engineering, internet studies, and postmodern arts are focused in global campus in Yongin. In Gwangnam campus, the Graduate Institute of Peace Studies is located. Uh, there are 21 colleges and departments and 81 majors offered in undergraduate program. In graduate program, there are 65 master's program and 63 doctorate programs offered. Also, we have 18 specialized graduate schools. Currently, about 32,000 students are studying at Kyungi campuses and is considered as one of the largest higher education institute in Korea. Kyungi University is also well known for its beautiful campus. If you are familiar with the Korean pop culture, you may have seen a TV show, commercials, and movies. Uh, here are photos of Four Seasons uh, main building in Seoul campus. This is the spring and it's the summertime and it's fall and it's a winter. Uh, these are the photos of the snow. Uh, this, these are the photos of the central library in Seoul campus. This is inside and it's the outside. This building is the second oldest building in Seoul campus. Also, uh, there is an auditorium called the Grand Peace Hall. Many Korean pop stars hold their concerts in this auditorium. Manipulation and the commencement ceremony are also held in this auditorium. So if you become a Kyungi student, uh, you're gonna go to this building to have the manipulation and commencement and other ceremonies. Uh, the lar largest number of people can sit at once in this building is 4,400 people, which is the biggest number. Kyunghee is one of the top 10 university in, in Korea. It's ranked sixth in Jungang Daily University ranking in 2019 and ranked up to 200 at QS World University ranking. The most popular major in Kyung University is hospitality and hotel management, which is considered as number one nationally and ranked 35th in QS World subject ranking. Um, the hospitality ledger management was ranked eighth in 19, uh, 29, 2019, 2019. We also have many partner universities in Turkey, such as the Istanbul University and Sabanchi University, Istanbul Technical University and Bilkent University. In Kyung University, about 5,700 internet students representing more than 100 countries are pursuing their degrees. Uh, Right now, we have eight Turkish students uh, studying at Kyungi campus. 
There are many industrial corporations in Kyung University. Uh, Samsung Electronics uh, donated $5 million US dollars for, for joint research, and the Department of Information Display produced the only university lab in the world with the technology of AMOLED, 3D TFT LCD, flexible AMOLED designing. Also, through the WCU project, Kyungil launched the three satellites as a first university in Korea. For international admission uh, for under undergraduate program, requirements are listed here. Applicants and their both parents should be non-Korean nationality holders. For freshmen, uh, high school or secondary education diploma is required for, and for transfer, at least two year of four year university should be completed or junior college diploma is required. Language requirement for Korean track is a topic level three for freshmen and topic level four for transfer. For those who cannot take a topic test in time, we provide a Kyunghee Korean language test as well. Uh, because of the COVID-19 um, situation, the Kyunghee Korean language test is currently um, held in online uh, verbal test. Here is the list of majors offered for internet students in Seoul campus, including freshmen and transfer. And this is a list of majors offered for internet students in global campus in Yongin. Also, if you wish to pursue wish to pursue degree in English only, here are options for English track program. Um, there are the College of Management and College of Hotel Tourism Management are offered in Seoul campus and the College of International Studies and College of Engineering are offered in global campus in Yongin. Other requirements uh, for English track admission is the same as the Korean track, except the language requirement. Um, language requirement is at least TOEFL IBT 80 or higher, which is the equivalent to the IELTS score 5.5 or higher. And if your first language is uh, in English, that means your mother tongue is English, then language requirement is exempt. We offer various scholarships for the internet students. For example, if you receive the highest score at the interview among who applied to the same college during the admission process, full tuition for the first semester will be waived. Also, there are other scholarships provide, provided by the corporate to the internet students and the Korean governments as well. Tuition and living costs are listed for information is converted to the Turkish lira approximately. Tuition is about uh, 30, 3, 34, 34,400 uh, lira per semester. And living cost is about 6,900 lira per month. Uh, but depending on the major and the department, the tuition is a little bit different. So this is uh, just average. And um, the next year, 20, 2022, it might be changed. Uh, also, for internet students, part-time job is um, available. Uh, you may work at the, the maximum of 25 hours per week uh, as internet students. The most distinguished uh, alumnus of Kyunghee is the President Moon Jae-in. Uh, he is the current president of Korea, and he studied uh, law at the Kyung University from 1972 to 1980. The first lady, uh, Kim Jong-suk, is also one of the alumni of Kyung University. She studied the music, piano, at Kyung University, and they met at the campus. 
I believe a lot of a um, lot of you are interested in K-pop culture. Kyungi is also well known for many celebrity alumni, especially K-pop stars. So you can see the the you may recognize some of the names like G Dragon or Kyuhyun of the from the Super Junior, um, the Kim Terry from the the movie or the Dongbang Shingi or Rain. If you join the Kyungi community, there are many activities offered to the international students, such as a global body program. Uh, this is the program that Korean students introduce Korean culture to international students and help international students get familiar to Korea and the Korean culture. Because of the COVID-19, um, this program is um, stopped right now, but after the situation gets better, uh, we will resume the program. Also, we have inter-students association. The the association um, the represent for the inter-students rights and interest. Um, they during the student festival in May, um, the student association offers activities and the gala party at the year ends and many other the 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 benefits to the inter-students. Also, this is the photo of the dormitory at Seoul campus. Uh, we have the dormitory for the international students. Um, there are two buildings in Seoul campus. There are one building at Global campus. Uh, also, um, next to the dormitory, we have the student cafeteria, and they provide halal food for the Muslim students um, at the student cafeteria. This is a photo of the Global Zone. Uh, at Global Zone, international students get uh, get all on together here and um, they share their ideas and they spend time during the break. And also we have a prayer rooms for the Muslim students as well. Okay, this is the content information for my office. So you may email us. If you send an email, we're gonna um, the we're gonna reply within one or two days. So email is the fastest um, the way you can get the response. And also, if you have any other questions about the um, the any other program, then we can definitely can forward the information to the right department. So you may on uh, the capture this page or take a photo of it. Okay. This is the end of my presentation. So, um, let's see what kind what questions received. Okay, um, I have a question from the Seda Smith. Um, do you offer English the program for all majors? No, we don't have all majors taught in English. Uh, in Seoul campus, we have English track offered in management and hospitality management major. And in global campus, uh, we have international, international studies and also nuclear engineering and civil engineering. And I have another question from the Isigani. Uh, does living cost include accommodation fees? Do you have on campus dorms? Uh, the living cost does not include accommodation fee. The living cost the, is basically just the living cost. The accommodation offers uh, in on campus, which is the dormitory, it's about, let's see. It's about a uh, US dollar thousand per semester. So it's 
So, but it depends on the which dorm you choose, because uh, depending on the dormitory building, they provide the they um the the offers a different cost. So, the cheapest one is about thousand, but the the expensive one is is not too expensive. It's very similar. It's about um about like um twelve thousand something like that. Yeah, that's the US dollar thousand. That end is uh, for semester. Okay. And Uh, I have a question from Melissa that um, you're a student of a Bilkins University and planning to apply to study at Chunghi for a semester as exchange students, right? Um, because I'm not dealing with the exchange program right now, so I do not know the exact acceptance rate, but um, it depends. It depends, and um, if your university uh, the the nominate you as the exchange students, um, if there is uh, no rejection, um, the 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 the. If there is uh, any um, the the reason to reject you, then probably they they would re accept you as a uh, exchange student. Um, the the meaning of the the reason of the rejection is that if there is any um, the 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 restriction um, that the the department of management asks for or any other the academic the restriction that you need to complete before apply for the exchange students besides this kind of reason and there there would be no reason to, to reject you but i'm not really sure and then i recommend you to contact the international office of your uh the school first that'll be the best best idea to start with okay Uh, okay, uh, I have on a question from Melissa as well. As an exchange student, allowed to work part time as well. Um, I don't think you are allowed to work as exchange students. Um, the uh, the, the department of ministry of the the ministry the immigration office they require international students to submit the topic uh, the test score to for the students who wish to work uh, for their part-time job but the as an student students you would not have the topic test score right so that means um exchange students are not allowed to work Uh, I have a question from the the two fun about the the doctorate program um, because um, I'm only in charge of the inter the the undergraduate program um, I'm not really sure I'm not really sure ah. I'm sorry, um, about the master's program, please studies. Uh, the, 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 you asked about the master's student scholarship and uh, for the master's students program, the, the office dealing with is different from my office. And scholarship that I mentioned, like a Samsung scholarship or any other scholarship, is them, well, actually this for the undergraduate program. So let me, let me give you the, the, the um the uh, content information of the graduate school of the for the peace studies um, then you probably want to ask them directly that'll be that'll be better for you so let me leave the, the leave their the content information at the chat 
not in this um, the the questions. Okay, um, I have a question from the Yasmin. Um, you apply. You will apply master's program in Turkey, and you also you want to know about the doctorate degree program. Um, it's same answer that the especially for the doctorate program. Uh, each department they uh, deal with the, each uh, the, the admission process. So uh, let me give you their contact information as well, so you can contact them directly. Okay. Uh, Rivan, what are the application deadlines for the graduate program? I don't think they open for the application yet. For undergraduate program, we just finished uh, the applic the the old admission process for the fall semester, and we will open the new admission application um, for the next spring at the late August. And I believe for the graduate program that will um, start their application for the next semester around September to October. So I, they do not have any schedule uh, posted yet. So I recommend you to check their website regularly. That'll be much better because I even do not know when they're going to start um, the application. I believe they just finished their um, the application for the next semester as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have a question from the Belma. Do you offer sibling discounts? You mean the sibling, um, the the scholarship, right? Yes, we do. Uh, if your sibling is a student or of the Kyung University, uh, you will receive. You will be uh, the. You will be received um, the. Um, certain portion of the tuition waiver. Uh, I believe it's 30% of the tuition. Um, I have a question from the Sue Lickmans. Uh, I want to apply Department of the Visual Design, and can I find more information of portfolio requirements? Well, for the visual design, um, they do not have as for the uh, the portfolio. Yet, um, the Department of the Visual Design is located in the global campus, which is a Yonghe city, and they do not ask for the um, any portfolio. Um, but it is um, the portfolio. They do not ask for the portfolio for the last year, uh, last semester. So they might change. To for the next year's um, the admission, so I'm still waiting for their um, the feedback because we ask for the um, each department uh, feedback on the next semester's uh, application. So currently, they do not ask for any portfolio, but it might be changed. Um,
Okay, I also have a question from Belma. What are you doing about staying in quarantine for 14 days in the pandemic? Are you helping with this? Uh, yes, everyone, especially international students, uh, enter in Korea, they need to stay for the 14 days of a quarantine. And before you arrive, you must have the, 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 the PCR test result and upon your arrival within 24 hours you need to get another PCR test in Korea and one day before you are dismissed from the quarantine uh, you need to get another PCR test so in total you need to get the three PCR three times of the PCR test and if this, the many of the intern students of your university, they look for their own place to um, do, do the quarantine. But if they ask for the information, we provide information ab about the quarantine on uh, the hostel. And, and when you arrive in airport, they're gonna provide the, all the information that you need for the quarantine. So you do not need to worry about uh, and I recommend you to um, check the information before you leave your country. Of course, we're gonna provide information, but it is also important that you need to check the, um, the, the information before you leave your country. Okay. Uh, I have another question from the Fatma. Can you also inform us of the application process? How long does it take? uh okay application process um we are there are two intakes for the undergraduate undergraduate program for the the first intake for the spring semester the application will open at end of the august and after the submit the application and the send all the required documents we're going to do this the document screening and the um, we're going to screen the, all the required documents and everything and we're going to inform the applicants that they, which documents they are missing which documents they need to send more or which documents we wish to see more and after that um for the applicants who do who do not fulfill the requirements, they will be informed. But um, the the applicants who are past all the required requirements, then they will be placed to the in interview process. For the uh, interview, right now we are doing the online interview, but we. After the pandemic, we're gonna do the face-to-face -face interview like uh, before we like we did before. And after the interview, uh, with the the about two weeks later, the final result will be announced, and it will be in whole process gonna take about uh, one and a half months. And after the result announcements of the first intake right after that uh, second intake application will be open right away and so for the spring semester there are going to be application open at august and october twice and for the fall semester uh, we're gonna have another the twice intake uh, so first intake will open at the early march and second intake will open at the early may so everything will be done by uh the july uh then after july you will if you're accepted you may receive the you may receive the invoice and the acceptance letter uh, and you will prepare uh, leaving your country coming to korea so ask for the official acceptance letter and everything then get a visa get student visa and come to korea uh, and during the admission process um, this document screening is about 20 percent uh, and the the interview is 80 percent 
but it might be changed from the 2023 because uh, uh, we are planning to change the admission, the, the process a little bit different. Okay. Ah, I have another question from Melissa. With being an um, exchange student and your university benefit, my chance to getting into your university master's degree in the future. Yes, it's possible. Uh, I've seen some students actually done that. Um, they come came to came to Kyo University as exchange students during the undergraduate, and they loved living there, living here, and then they came back as a master students. Yes, it's is actually happened before, and yeah, I I think it will benefit you. Yeah during the master program, master admission, yes. Okay. Uh, I have a question from Fatma. Are we able to work in Korean during our study? Yes, you do. Um, you are allowed to work uh, for 25 hours per week and but uh, if you and um, there are, are certain documents you need to uh, submit to work as a part time uh, to work a part time job. So the specific documents you can ask later after you get a job. So don't worry. Yeah, you can work. Yeah. Uh, and question from Sefke. I know we have to show the twenty thousand US dollar in bank account college. In order to show language before in the Ah, that's a little different. If you want to study Korean language uh, using the lang language student visa, then you need to have the 10,000 US dollar in your bank. But if you already fulfill the language requirements and accept it to the college for the, the, uh, the undergraduate program or uh, the graduate program, then you only need to have the bank account with the twenty thousand US dollar in your bank. So you do not need uh, in total three uh, thirty thousand. No, you only need the twenty thousand US dollar in the in your bank uh, for the uh, degree student visa and ten thousand US dollar um, in your bank if you want to get a language student visa only. And which major do I recommend for the internet students? That really depends on what field you are interested in. So I cannot recommend certain major because you're the interested students. If, but a lot of students love to study in Kyung University, especially management, media communication, and hospitality and international studies because the fields are quite broad. So maybe there are more chances that you can expand later, uh, expand your perspective later, uh, maybe because of that many students choose the major, but that's not my recommendation. I strongly ask you to uh, think about what you love to study. That'll be my answer. Okay. I have uh, Faiza. Is it possible? Is it possible to transfer from the, any Turkish universities apart from your part of universities? I do not understand your question exactly. Um, do you mean the transfer? to a junior or the, um, do you mean the 
undergraduate admission and transfer as a junior. Uh, if you are meaning that, it doesn't matter whether your previous school is a is a Kyunghee Partner University or not. It doesn't matter. Um, we only need to know whether your previous school is a regular four-year higher education institute and they offer the degree. So I hope it answers your question. If not, please leave another question. Okay. And so like in... Uh, Uh, is any social activities you did in high school affects your undergraduate application positively? It's possible. Each department and they will be provided all the documents the students submit and that includes um, the self-introduction and the the study plan and um, the the previous activities or internship certificate or this kind of information we provide to the the interviewers so yes of course if you're if you have the completed any social activities um, that are considered as uh, have a very effective um, the the positive effect on your study of course the interview will consider it positively yes Okay, and uh, the question from Daniel, this year will be face-to-face -face or online? Um, last semester, uh, which is um, spring semester of the 2021, the basic module was the online. In next semester, which is the fall 2021, the basic um, the module will be online, basically. But for certain majors, um, which requires a laboratory work or the small group work, then the under 20 students, and it is allowed to have the face-to-face -face classes, but it most not likely to have the face-to-face -face classes, mostly online. Uh, a question from the Sefki. Is it a big problem if we have point under 80 out of 10 for the application? Um, can you more be more specific about the points under 80 out of 100 you mean that if you receive uh, 80 points from your interview or is um in my understanding i think that you when you are asking about receiving the interview points 80 out of hundreds is it right um it depends if the the major you applied is very competitive, then maybe 80 is not enough. You may need to have the over 90. In some departments, which is not that much competitive, maybe you, you only need to get maybe 75. So it really depends. It really depends on which major, which department you apply to. So hopefully it answers. Hi, Jonga. I I think yeah. maybe she meant like a high school uh, graduation diploma, you know, uh, when you have uh, eight points. Uh, 80 points, high school oh. diploma? You yes, mean the graduation I'm... test? Uh, like a GDP maybe? GPA? GPA? Like, yes. Well... 
uh, not really. Not right now, uh, we give certain points for the um, depending on the the GPA. But if you do really well in the interview, then the is not that much big impact on it. So, and eighty out of hundred is not really that not really low. So I don't think that's gonna be a big problem. So if if she mean that, then I don't think that's gonna affect the application. Is it answered? <laughs> yes, thank you very much for your answer. Okay. Okay. The Karen, can we study university from university except your contracted universities? Oh, you mean the uh, the exchange students? Not really. If you want to be a uh, exchange students um, to the Kyung University, then your school and the Kyung University should have the the contract first. Okay, and Belma, uh, she wants to transfer to English department. Uh, require is it required? Or is it okay to show the full English education in my ah uh, the English department? Even if it's English department, um, you mean the major in English, right? Uh, English department, they actually teaching in Korean. So you need to have the topic, the Korean language test certificate. Uh, but if you mean that English track, then you need to have the English of the in English uh, proficiency test score, like IELTS or TOEFL IBT. Okay, Juha, do we have applying the first semester? Can you apply in the fall or the second semester? You can both apply it in spring semester and fall semester. And each semester there are two uh, intakes. So you, you can actually, you can apply for um, the about four times at most, two times in first semester and twice in second semester. Uh, the Sue Su Ilgin uh, asked about the Korean government scholarship. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, you need to get accepted by the Korean government scholarship first, then apply to Kyung University as a Korean gov government scholarship board for the undergraduate program. For a graduate program, it's a little bit different. But for undergraduate program, you need to apply to Korean, Korean government scholarship first, and then you choose Kyung University to study then we're going to accept you as a government, the Korean government scholarship or the students. OK, Leila, um, 안녕하세요. I'm a graduate of the graphic design department. Can I find a job there? Um, can I do a master's degree? Well, graphic design department, and you can find a job here. I'm not really sure. Um, I can, uh, that's not, that's not what I can answer. So let me just pass, but can I do a master's degree? Yes, you can. You can apply for the master's degree. You can do that. Yeah. Okay, Melissa, uh, transfer during the undergraduate studies. Do I continue from the library year three? Uh, or is there a chance my classes won't be accepted in this server? Uh, Melissa, if you transfer, you're going to start from the junior, because, which is the uh, year three. But if, if the, your department uh, do not accept the, um, the requires, um, require the, 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 the courses, then probably the prerequisite, then maybe some of the courses you already took, you may be asked to take again. 
but most likely uh, you start from the junior year, which is the year three. Uh, Denise, do you have any master level language and literature or translation programs? Yes, we do have the language, literature, and translation program in master's. Yes, we do have Korean language, Korean literature, and Korean as a second language, and English, and English literature, and English Korean translation. We do have all the major you mentioned. So you need to look up the 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 list of majors they offer and let me leave their website at chat room okay um gilsa i have several questions getting scholarship on to masters in your institution actually no korean on internet little and topics is not valid making many details okay Yes, uh, about the master program, let me leave their email address so you can ask the question them directly. If you email me, I need to transfer the, the forward email to the graduate school office anyway. So if you contact them directly, that'll be much faster and easier. Okay. Uh, which university does you have agreement Turkey? We I have we have um, the University of Istanbul and Istanbul Technical Technical University and uh, Sabanchi University, Bilken University. Melissa, do you require IELTS TOEFL from students from universities if invalid past the, the English virtual exam study for English in your part university uh, Melissa do you mean the exchange student or transfer because uh, I think that you asked about the both program uh, for the admission, transfer admission, IELTS or TOEFL is required. And uh, for um, exchange program, I think they require for the TOEFL or IELTS. So for the exchange program, I think you'd better contact your international office. That'll be much uh, easier. But the international admission, you need to have IELTS or TOEFL for the English track. Um, uh, and transferring from the partner university, not really. Um, I cannot say that it's easier or harder. It's the same. We do not see the their purpose of school or the whether the school is a partner university or not. We do not look up the information. So yeah, I think that I answered everything. And let me just provide the uh, information. Okay. Okay, I just left a link of 
uh, the graduate school and the admission guideline for the graduate programs at the chat at the chat room and the also undergraduate admission information and also list of the graduate schools and the content information so let me go back to questions one more time okay even if i want play english taught college is as to my acceptance if you do not uh, apply to english track your ielts score would not would not uh, affect your admission acceptance so don't worry about that okay belma so i have to pass your college topic is m to transfer english department what level should it be uh if you want to transfer to the english department uh for the undergraduate program then you need to pass level four uh we have the level three for the, the freshman and level four for the transfer and my last question from the Fatma, do you also inform most of the expense is all per month? The living expense uh, per month is all, let me have the number, I have the number. Uh, approximately, it's about 6,900 Turkish lira per month. But it depends. It depends on how you spend the money for your food and everything. So this is just approximate number we have. So, yeah. I think it's that'll be all. So if you need any other the information, you are free to contact me and you are free to send me email. So thank you very much. And it was very nice to meet everyone in online. Yes, thank you very much for your fantastic presentation, Jonga. Uh, we had a lot of questions and you covered them all. Thank you for your answers too. We believe it was a really informative webinar for the attendees. Thank you very much. Also, I would like to thank the participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Kyongi University ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için ekranda görmüş olduğunuz mail adresinden iletişime geçebilirsiniz. Aynı zamanda Jonga'nın paylaşmış olduğu linkleri de incelemeniz faydalı olacaktır. Sizleri altıdaki webinarımıza da davet etmek isteriz. Thank you very much again Jonga. It was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye bye.